Hello everyone, welcome to Focus. Focus is a free game made by Felix Park. I'll have a link to where you can play it for yourself in the description. What is this game about, you ask? Well, you'll see in just a second. So as is normal, I'm going to go slow. I'm someone who likes to just take things slow and just explore around and really take my time. I also like to analyze the games that I play a bit, especially towards the end, so I will be doing that as normal. And that's really all there is to mention before before I start, so let's go. After going to sleep one day, I had a strange dream. I guess this would be the dream. By the way, I must apologize if there are strange black bars on the side of the screen or something like that, because this game runs in a very strange aspect ratio. So yeah, it might end up looking a little bit weird, I'm not quite sure. Oh, wait, hold on. Let me turn the sensitivity down. There we go. Now oh, look here. We have a camera. All right, E to zoom, Q to zoom out, and R to reset. Yep. So, this is a game about nearly microscopic people. Yes, you heard that right. Nearly microscopic people. Hello there. Ah, don't worry about me. Its foot, its foot is twitching. I'm fine like this. I usually like to spend my evenings almost crushed to death by large objects. It's my hobby. Yeah, let's go with that. Hey, you know what? You should talk to somebody else. There should be 11 of us around here. I'm just going to rest up. For starters, Cecil is over in the garbage can, having a crisis. Go check on him. I will do that, tiny person. Goodbye, tiny person. Alright, there's somebody in the garbage can. But hold on first, let's look at the art. Hmm. What? What is that? I'm not entirely sure what I'm looking at. Looks like some sort of a tool, but I'm not really sure what. Huh. Anyway. Alright, pretty standard sort of bare room. A window into... Nothingness. A bed, a desk with a computer. And a guitar. Alright, let's take a look in the garbage can. Okay, I can see about one red pixel. Hello there! You look... sad. Ah! Okay, I guess they really are having a crisis, aren't they? Yeah, I would say so. Yep. Don't act like you've never wanted to just scream from it all. There's too much out there. Poverty, war, disease, abuse. Also, why don't women find me attractive? I'm maddened by it all. I could just... <sighs> symbolically punch a window. That's how severe this is. You're not even listening to me, probably. Just like that idiot Marcello. He never listens to anybody. All he ever does is stare into the void, sitting on the edge of the windowsill. He should just stare into his own void, like me. On the windowsill, huh? Alright. Where is Marcello? Oh, I think I see him. I see one... What is that? Is that a blue pixel? Hello, Marcello. Oh, that's not blue, that's gray. It's beautiful, isn't it? Times like this, I feel wistful. Times like this, I feel I can say words like wistful. Some people say this void can take your soul. But that's ridiculous when none of us have one. 
If anything, the void can fulfill you, comfort you. But that might be the romantic in me talking. Speaking of talking, I'd love to gab more, but I think I need some more quiet reflection. The void is so awe-inspiring. I almost want to leap into it. Anyway, I think Millie could use some conversation. Last I hear, she was on the third shelf from the top, left side. Right, third shelf from the top, left side. Millie? Mil Millie? Where? Where is she? I don't see her. Is this the third shelf from the... Wait. Wait, what is that? What the... Hold on. Those are notes. So, he'll say no. After all our time together. God, I've been an idiot. I should have known. He never said he loved me. Not once. What were we doing all that time? Uh, it looks like they go up on the wall. What an asshole. I hate him. But... I can't help but cry. What's wrong with me? I need to get a grip. I'm just writing. All of my problems. Without telling him. They continue up. Look at that. Oh. Oh. Oh? Where? Where's the next one? Oh. <laughs> oh, I guess I just said the same thing on the note. Oh. They're up there. Uh, can I- I can't jump. Or stand up on anything. Should be able to see from here, though. Sigh. Maybe I should, actually. Ask him out. Before deciding our entire future together. But that's... So scary. Hello there, Millie. Um, I'm kind of in the middle of something here. If you want to bother someone, Peter is hiding under the pillow. Okay, okay, fair enough. That was so cool, following the trail of miniature notes up to where Millie was. <laughs> that is so unbelievably cool. Okay, hiding under the pillow. So... Oh wait, I think I see him. Yellow? Is he yellow? Nope, he's gray. Aw. Is Peter sleeping? I don't want to wake him up, but... I guess I have to. I don't want to go anywhere. I'll just end up spending money. I'll just stay here and do nothing all day. I need to save up. I want to be happy and not have to worry about money. 
I'll need lots of it. Frugality. So, sorry. I don't want to do anything. Could you do me a favor, though? Heath owes for lunch the other day. That's ten dollars. Think about it. That could be dinner for a week. I can't sleep at night, knowing that money is just out there. I think he's typing by the computer. Thanks for your help. Alright, where are you? Oh, there you are. <laughs> I don't think that's going to press the key, much as you might want it to. Fuck you, fuck all people. Jerks, motherfuckers. Can you believe this shit? How can people be so stupid? Fuck's sakes, can you even fathom? What a waste of humanity is sometimes. My faith, if you even call it that, is shattered. Fuck. What the fuck? If only everyone could be as reasonable as me. Anyway, Peter can go fuck himself. It's only ten dollars. He needs to fucking relax. I need to check out my sights, so see ya. Now where's that mouse? Okay, calm down. Jesus, calm down, calm down. Where's the mouse? Over here, which is about 10 miles away for you. Is, is there something on it? I, oh wait, yeah, there's, what the? I barely even saw you, hello. P <laughs> what? <laughs> penis, penis, penis. Um, okay. Penis, penis. Penis. Pe <laughs> what? Did you laugh? I did, actually. <laughs> yep, not gonna lie. I'm a comic genius. Um, I wouldn't go that far. I might have laughed, but... You're a little bit shy of genius level, just slightly, just slightly. You're, you're penis lengths shy of genius. And I mean a very long penis, like a freaking massive... Even that loner Jackie needs to admit it. Jackie was on the right side of the second top shelf, if I remember right. V <laughs> Vagina. Okay, that one didn't make me laugh. Oh, Jackie. Also, am I crazy or are people getting smaller? I mean, look, this this guy can be seen, obviously, even without zooming in. And the one on the windowsill. You can zoom in enough to not even be able to see his entire body in the frame. But... As the last guy, you can't even get his entire... Like, you can't even... Yeah, this is zoomed in all the way. It seems like they're getting smaller. Anyway, Jackie should be on the right side of the second from the top shelf. Oh, I think I see you. Is that purple? Yes, it is. Oh, never mind, it's orange. Yeah, purple, orange, same thing. Hello, Jackie. Ellis said I was a loner. That is Ellis, right? Or Elise? Uh, Elise, Ellis, Elise, Ellis. I'm gonna go with Ellis. I am one, yeah. I'm a loner. But I wager I deserve it. I deserve loneliness. You ever look straight into someone's eyes and say, I love you? but not mean it in the slightest. I've done it. I'll keep doing it. Over and over again. I'm missing a circuit or a connection somewhere. Maybe I just need to meet the right person. 
but even if I do, and if there's nothing inside of me, in the end, I'll look right into their eyes and say those three words. Maybe you're better off talking to someone like June. She's somewhere around the door handle. Everybody's so... lonely and sad. Oh, hello, June. I see you. Um, are you planking? I'm falling into a routine. Wake up, go to work, come home, watch TV, go to sleep. On the weekends, I sleep. Maybe call a friend out to dinner. But then, nothing. But then otherwise, what? I feel like there's enough time for anything, but no time at all. This problem is so small and inconsequential. But what is this feeling growing inside of me? I don't know what to call it. Ennui? Depression? Boredom, maybe. Giving it a name doesn't seem like it'll do anything. I feel a headache coming on. I better go to sleep. Have you been standing there a while? Got nothing better to do? My friend Amos is by the guitar. He could use the company. There you are. Uh... Are you supposed to be strumming a guitar, or are you jerking off? Okay. <laughs> okay. It <laughs> looked like he was kind of jerking off. Um, I'm writing a song that I hate for a person I can't stand. It's the best song I've ever written, and it's for me. But hey, whatever. Just keep rolling along with the punches in life. I used to dream that I'd make something beautiful. Full of love. But now, I'm just amazed if I can shit something out in half a year. Without hurling myself into manic depression. Anyway, this song is about someone I loved deeply. Who is now with me no more. The less said about him, the better, but, well... <laughs> if I really believed that, I wouldn't be writing a song about him. Now would I? Look forward to the song. I don't know when it'll be done. But, I'll let you know. In the meantime, why don't you talk to my former love? Benny is probably hanging around the room lamp. Not missing me at all. Oh, Benny! Wait, the room lamp. Where's the... Wait, this... Hanging around here? Uh... That's the only lamp in here, right? Yeah. Must be up above, I guess? Oh, um, he wasn't kidding about hanging around. Are you okay, Benny? Is this a dream, or is this what is actually happening? What's more likely, finding tiny people and listening to them? Or spending a life avoiding problems constantly? Hanging off of a light fixture for dear life? Or hoping in vain for someone to rescue you? My name is Benny, but who are you? Whoever you are, I hope you enjoyed yourself. Because right now, I can feel the end coming on. And here it is. Right out of the void. Uh, what? Whoa! <laughs> when I woke up, I was still tired. But I had to start the day. <laughs> that 
That was awesome. I did not expect that at the end, either. Someone's looking in on me. Well, I'm looking in on other people. Maybe I'm a tiny, tiny miniature person. Compared to whoever was looking in on me. Maybe there's an endless string of people looking in on everyone else. I really loved it. It's such a... It's such a strange little idea of just being able to zoom in on nearly microscopic people. And it's... It just ends up being... Well, it's fun to look around and try to find these things. It's kind of... It's like a... There's a nice sense of adventure to it of just simply trying to find people. Just simply the act of finding them and seeing what they were doing was fun. Not to mention creepy and really interesting just because of how strange of a of a thing it is to be looking at miniature people with a camera. Especially the part where you're looking at the notes and just following the trail of notes to find that one person. That was really cool. And it's so strange how everybody is just so sad. Everybody's dealing with problems. Money problems. Anxiety. Just general life problems. There's a lot you can get out of this game. Depending on how you want to take it. Like a lot of different interpretations you can make of it. But the overall feeling of it to me is just... It's just creepy. In a good way. Like you're some sort of... Voyeuristic person looking in on other people's problems. While other people also look, on and look in on your problems. Just so strange. It's such a, a sad world. It's a very sad dream. Like, it's like... It's as if every individual problem... This person having the dream had. You know, all, all their problems they have in their day-to-day -day life. Their insecurities. The things that stress them out. Worries about money and... Love and relationships and so on. It's as if every single one was just split off onto its own, into its own tiny fragment, its own tiny person. And then left for you to find and look at. I really liked it. I liked it a lot. Alright, well, on that note, I will end this video here. So, once again, it is totally free to play. Uh, for yourself, and I'll have a link to it in the description. And I hope you enjoyed my playthrough of Focus. Thank you for watching.